Hey guys, I'm doing Skeptic here, bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Let's talk about some cool stuff. All right, I'm excited about this video. I've been wanting to make this video for a really long time. I have not had a chance. Obviously, when you make sure you know what to do, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, greatly appreciate it. So today we're going to go over Moss 360. If you guys are not familiar with Moss 360 IBM, I uh, I use it in the past in several of my jobs. And uh, this is a mobile device management application that you could use and set up on your own, on your phone just for the sake of practice and also to add a new skill on your resume. So today I'm going to give you a new skill you can add on your resume. So let me share my screen real quick and go over this application and we'll go over it real quick. All right. So today we're just going to go like log in and set it up. And then the next video, we're actually going to configure some stuff on it. We'll do all that fun, that fun stuff. All right. So let me share my screen. Uh, screen dos, screen two. Awesome. So when you log in, you're going to have this screen right here, just so you guys can see my screen. So this is what you'll go. You you will see when you log in, and then here is this book. It you know I don't want you to book a lot of those. I don't want you. I'm not trying to sell you anything, obviously. So I'm just trying for you to get an access to this Moss 360 because because everyone uses Moss 360 mobile mobile iron, um, some sort of email client. It could be Moss three. It could be Moss 360 mobile iron. It could be Intune. It really depends on the company. Every company is different, but. If you learn how to do this, you can talk about it on your job or two. You can actually showcase your skills and stuff like that. So I'm going to try it for free. And then when you click on it, right, it's actually going to log me in because I already created an account, right? So and I'll show you how it looks like real quick. You guys have my email address already, so I'm not going to, you know. So you're going to, you're going to get a, this is some of my email addresses. So you're going to get this new register account. And it's going to give you a code, right? So you put in that code, you log in. Once you log in, it gets successfully created, and you should be able to log in. And I'll show you how it looks like. So I'm going to close out of this. I should have it open in Edge. So once you log in, it looks like this. So here is my subscription account. Here's my email. You guys have my email address. So I'm, I'm not too worried about that. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Captech Academy. Um, I have free courses online where I cover uh, Microsoft Azure. I also have a, a low pay course for uh, Server 2022. So you guys should check it out. It's absolutely low cost. Um, and uh, yeah, with no ads or nothing. So hopefully you guys find it useful and helpful. And yeah, go ahead and follow me and follow my platform. And hopefully you find some of my courses useful. With that being said, let's get back to the video. You really want to go in here and add users and manage users, right? So I have two users right now, two power users. This one is my Gmail account because I just want to see how it looks like. So if I go to my Gmail, I'm going to open it up real quick and just go into it. All right. So you could actually, you could actually add, invite people to it or add multiple people. Once they could, they could practice along with you. Maybe you want another person that wants to log in and practice, but this has been invited by Kevin Partner, your account partner area has added you to their account. It's not a new role for you. We listed the details below. Before you jump in, we notice that you don't have an IBM account. Please, com please complete the IBM sign up form for this link expires May 1st. Then you just create it and it's my email address right there. So that, that's the email you're going to get when you add someone as a super user, because this is a super user that I just added. And then when you want to, if you want to log into the subscription, you go to overview, you scroll all the way down. And you go to launch, which is what I which is what I did just now. So you have the login screen. This is your email. You put your email address in there and then hit continue. And then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do skip for now, right? And I think you guys should be familiar with this. Like you should be familiar with this. Uh, maybe later. Okay, done. Okay, so you guys should be familiar with with this if you ever use Moss three sixty. So we here we have our devices, right? There are no devices right now, but you could literally add a device. You should add a device and enroll user, iOS user enrollment. I don't have an iOS. I have a, uh, I have an Android device, right? So I went to Android, default mobile device. And then th these are like different device ownerships that you could set up. And then you have your users right here, right? So if you want to see which users have a device set up, you could go in here. You can actually add a new user here. So I could go in here literally and put um, Kevin Apollinario, right? And then enter corporate username. And then enter domain, kevtech.com. 
uh, and then enter email. I'm going to put my email address. Tab. Tab. Kevin at Kev. Yep. And then manage app. I'm going to put that. And then here, and then here you put your phone number, right? And I'm going to. I'm going to put it on a separate screen. Just you guys don't have my phone numbers. I don't want people spamming me <laughs> with information. And then I'm going to put my location, which is New York. And then I'm going to save it. And then when you do all that, all that good stuff, you actually got to confirm and confirm what you're doing and put your password in there, which is what I'm going to do right now. And I just added this user. So I don't want to I don't want to show everything but I'm going to show you some of what you see I just created it and it looks like this right So that that's how it looks like and it says last updated So you could manually add users here or you could you could send them an enrollment email it's entirely up to you And then here is where you set up your policies So we're going to be playing around with this which is kind of cool because uh I know some of you guys are interested in this kind of stuff because you may want to set up mobile device management on your phone and all that good stuff. So I'm excited about this because it's gonna because I'm actually gonna showcase stuff that I actually done in a work environment. So here you do view. No, oh, actually I clicked on the history by accident. Um yeah, so this is what's created by default. We can go back. Uh here you hit view and I hit because I clicked the wrong one, right? And then here is like okay, you must. You must set up an Android. It has to have a passcode. You could you could change all this. Like we could we could configure this. Still force to use the passcode before using Android for work. But it's set to no. Uh, security device security, and then you could change all this. Yes, no. Like this is the default policies that you could you could we could mirror this policy. So like what I would like to do is this is the policy that we have. We have more, and we have assignment status. So like here, if you click on this. It tells you who's assigned to it. There's nobody assigned to it right now. So we'll go back to security. We're going to go back to policies. Then here we could actually do, we could actually do add policy. So we could actually create a new policy for our new mobile device. And we're going to call it home lab, or we could call it test or whatever we want to call it. Right. And then this is um, test device for Moss 360, right? And then here we could actually create um like what is it going to be? And me, I'm I'm an Android person, so I'm put Android and I'm gonna put um choose from a re required policy type to start from. So I'm gonna use an existing policy and I'm gonna use the default Android one because I really like that one because it's 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 basically I I don't have to do all the legwork. And then here on the right hand side, there's like this pencil thing that you probably can't see it because my head is in the way. You can hit the little edit sign and I'm going to enable it. And I'm going to say password policy. Uh, I'm going to put it as low and we're going to do numeric. And then here, when I'm going to put the minimum policy, it has to be six digits or more. So, and it says your password prompt after lock screen immediately. And then idle time one minute. And then what we're going to do is, when we don't all this, right? It's saving it now. You have a bunch of other stuff you could do here, right? Uh, I'm gonna hit next, 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 confirm. It's gonna ask for my password again, confirm, which I already have it auto save the password. And that's it. So now we have a brand new policy. I could always edit it by going to the pencil side. And actually I wanna see what else can you do here besides that. So you have security, you have device security, allow remote input, allow fingerprint, um, personal profile, allow trust, all that good stuff, restrictions. So you could configure restrictions, like what can we, if I check market, what can we configure? Device feature, allow camera. So this is where you could block the camera if you want. Like camera is not, not enabled right now, but like, Say for example, you you don't want your employers, they have a mobile device that is part of the company policy and they're using they're not using their device, they're using a company device, and you don't want them to use their they don't want them to use their camera at all. 
you could turn off the camera for everything. So like this would be the uh, that's because I had this done in my job. I'm gonna hit next, and I'm gonna hit next, and I'm gonna I'm gonna publish that. I know that sounds crazy, but that's a that's a real thing. The camera is off now. I don't want people using the camera. And then you could change the other, you could change a bunch of other stuff. And then Wi-Fi is right here. You could configure a Wi-Fi. Cause I don't know people have been asking me in the past, like when someone adds their mobile device, how are they how are they able to connect to their Wi-Fi automatically? I don't get it. So you actually could configure it right here, right? And then you could set up a default SSID. Is it not gonna be a non-broadcast SSID? SSID, you don't want people knowing where your SSID is. And then you could put WPA2 here. And then you would put the encryption key, or you could put um you could put set it up as open, and then you could just put the SSID right here. And it's gonna ask you, do you want to set up a proxy? Uh, and then you just you could just do manual, or you could do automatic. It's entirely up to you, or you could just leave it alone, right? And if you click on Wi-Fi settings, and you could edit or delete the profile, and then this is pretty cool because you could set up the you could set up the SSID. Um, which is really, really cool. And it tells you where the solution to provide a configure device. So you could set up SSID. And we're gonna practice this on my device just for just for fun. But um that's pretty cool. You, you could configure this. I'm not gonna do it right now. But um yeah, that's something that's pretty, pretty cool. And then if you want to like say for example, and I know I know some people work in cybersecurity. So say for example, you want reports, you could get your reports right here. So like Maybe you want to know about, um, and let me just, let me, I'm going to go to the administrator side, but I, mean, I wanted to show my phone number because maybe it's going to report my phone number and, and stuff like that. But maybe you want to check here and, 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 and see, I guess, administrator login, for example, and you want to log about that and you want to generate a report and you want to generate a report and you could put today's date and then you could put today's date again and then you hit, hit generate a report. And it says your maximum three requests could be submitted every 24 hours. Provide at least one email address. So it's going to ask me for my email address, which is fine. And then I'm going to put my password in there. And it says the reports have been mailed to this email address provided within the next 30 minutes. So I have to wait to see if I get an email from Moss360. And I'm going to open up my email real quick. And this is a delivery address. And this is my this is the welcome email to set up Moss360. Remember, we, we clicked on it earlier and we configured it earlier. And I manually added that device to my mobile device. So that actually is, um, you know, this is the, the welcome email. You could change this to something else, but this is the welcome email that you get when you set up OS 360 on your phone. So but hopefully that's some insightful information for you guys. And hopefully that helps you out. So yeah, that's it. That's it for this one. And, and I have other stuff you could do here. There's a license overview here. Here you could add, like you could set up roles for people. So like you do the administrations and I'm not going to go over that today because it's too much information, but I'm going to stop sharing. So hopefully that's that's insightful for you guys. If you're brand new to IT, and you're like, how do they set up Wi-Fi on their phone? Or how do they set up a, 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 a profile or a VPN on a mobile device? We're going to we're going to do some cool stuff with this stuff. But I just wanted to show you that real quick, because maybe you guys are curious about how to set that up or how it works and what what it does, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Later. Peace. Bye.